Hello again. Today I'm going to be going over Arcos, um, show you his transformation, and go over some of his accessories with you. Um, this is part of X Transbot's Master Mini Series, and um, let's get started. First thing I want to show you is um, I'm going to have a link for this in my description. I'm the one who worked on the instructions for this, and uh, I left out a page, so I, I really apologize for that, but it's uh, sort of an important part of the transformation. So again, um, I'll have a link uh, in the description, and uh, hopefully that won't cause too much trouble. Again, I apologize for that. Okay, to get the uh, machine gun mounted in alt mode, uh, it sits in the uh, passenger side. Uh, grab the roll cage, uh, this part right here, and pop it out and just move it out of the way. Get your machine gun in there and you want to just line it up with the um, attachment piece right there. It's a little C shape. Let's see if you can... It's this right here. Okay, so we get the weapon in there. It snaps into place. And then you just return this part of the roll cage back, pop it in there, and you have your machine gun mount. Okay, getting started with the transformation, there's a few tabs you have to undo. Uh, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then you have to take these um, front part, the front part of the roll cage out. Uh, the roll cage is uh, die cast. The darker, uh, you can see it, but the darker gray is die cast, it's painted. And then these are softer plastic to prevent breakage. Um, so first thing you want to do is get these out of the way, just like that. Uh, untab it right there and there. Uh, to get these tabs out, just kind of pull at the side of the vehicle, just like that. And then there's these two tabs right there that, that fit to the side. Those are just guides there. They're not really, they don't clip into place. They just kind of guide you, guide you when you're transforming it. So now that you got that untabbed, you can get these little sections out of the way. There's a ball joint and a hinge, so there you go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is start working on the legs. Okay, to get the legs going, basically you just wanna grab the front of the vehicle here right there and you're just going to rotate out at the knees center bar here just pushes down and you can clear this front of the, um, the roll cage bring the legs to the front separate them they're tabbed at the bumper and uh, the inside of the legs there the bumper and the inside of the leg is a piece here that rotates around about 180 degrees and the bumper comes in to the lower leg there. Same thing over here, it spins around, gives you that. Go around to the back here, the basket is on a ball joint and a hinge right there and just rotate that up just like that. Grab this little lever on the hinge and swing that around. Same thing over here. The basket folds in half. There you go. And then on the ball joint, this spins around like that. Like that tucks into the inside of the leg just like that the side of the vehicle folds in half
might be helpful to unfold it to get that in there and clear that wheel. That takes care of the back of the leg. Okay. The steering wheel folds up. This little um, attachment attachment piece for the machine gun folds up. Heels fold back. Front of the foot, oops, front of the foot unfolds. The toes. These are the foot itself is tabbed into the side of the vehicle. You can just untab that. This one's already untabbed here. That gives you your your rocker. And then the final thing is the headlights swivel so that they're facing forward. Just like that. And that takes care of the legs. Okay, next thing we're going to do is get the engine through the roll cage onto the back and do that by untabbing the arms from the underside of the engine and we're going to compress the chest onto the abdomen there. Okay, so just to get started here, the fists are connected to the bottom of the engine and fold those out of the way. Let's see where those uh, little handles are for the, the fists to hang, hold on to. In alt mode. Flip it over. Okay, you want to put the seats down and fold onto the back like that. The roll cage untabs here, the top, and then those fold out of the way. The front of the roll cage folds underneath. Now the top of the engine, so this basically this C shape right here, all of that slides up. Okay. The engine consists of, I mean not the engine, but the, what it, how it connects to the back. There's a, a hinge right there. There's a hinge up here and a hinge right at the base of the back. It's also a rotator right there. And all that's designed for is to help you get this through here. So now that you have this part of the engine slid up, rotate it about 85 degrees, not quite 90. You want to make sure that this bar that connects the engine to the back is nice and straight. There's no turn in it or curve. And you can use the, I mean, the roll cage itself is hinged right at the shoulders of the arms, right by the wheels. And that rotates, rotates the cage up and over. And essentially, you want to get this cage right here to sit right there. Okay. So with this rotated at 85 degrees, bring the cage up, it slides over just like that. Once you've cleared that, you grab the engine and start working it through. And you have it cleared over to the back. front chest squeezes down this rotates down the arms are connected to what essentially will be the top of the chest which is these two white parts right here and those are hinged the same axis as the base of the roll cage so, what you want to do is rotate those up 
just like that. Push them down all the way. The engine clips onto the back. As you can see, it kind of cradles the back of the seat. And there are two clips. Those handles back there sit into the back of the seat. Okay, now that that's taken care of, this can get rolled. These uh, top of the roll cage can get rolled back. And they clip back together over the back. Oops. Rotate the head. And the arms have a bicep swivel, and there's a forearm swivel for the transformation. Fist swivel too. That takes care of that. Again, bicep, forearm. And there you go. We'll go over some of the uh, accessories now. The gun does not have a peg on the side like some of the other MP hands and guns. just has a, uh, a round peg that just slides in. Just like that. Alright, now to get the face mask on, just grab a flathead screwdriver, just tuck it under the chin, and just gently pry the face off. Grab the mask face. And it's friction held into place. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go over the golden hand, which is the right hand. It's attached by a uh, mushroom. The fist is attached by a uh, mushroom peg here. Support the forearm and push that out of the way and off of the, uh, the mushroom peg there. There you go. This golden hand is painted and I had a little bit of a uh, golden goop right there that I had to shave off with the uh, with an exacto blade. That worked out fine. Last thing we're going to go over are the birds that are included with him. There's two with short little uh, clear pegs and one that's flying that's on a longer clear peg. There's two slots on either side of his head. These can peg into place. And they're interchangeable. There you go. Last thing we'll do is do some uh, comparison and then we're all done. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. Again, please uh, take note of the page that's missing from the instructions. And um, yeah, so we'll see you next time, hopefully, with uh, Elegos. Goodbye.